Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over why you might want to use some of the different export formats in Doodly. In one of our recent tutorial videos, someone had a comment. They were wondering why you would use different export formats with Doodly. Now, I believe she understood that we have them, but she didn't didn't quite get why, you know, why would you want a different format other than what we already have, you know, just this standard rectangular format. So let's go ahead and go to our export tool. So you'll see that we have four different file formats here that we can choose from. MP4, which is the default, MKV, OGG, and WebM. Now they're all four called container formats and they use different what's known as video codecs. So not all browsers and web players can support the different file formats. In general, I would stick with MP4. It's broadly compatible. The others, they have different features. You know, maybe they have better audio quality or maybe they're better for streaming video or for embedding on websites, but they may not play for all of your viewers. So I would recommend sticking with the MP4 format unless you have a good reason to go with one of the others. Now, what I really believe the heart of this person's question was has to do with resolution rather than the actual file format. Doodly has several resolutions which are built in. So the default one is 480p. It's very low resolution. It looks terrible. I don't recommend using it for publications. It's fine for drafts when you're just, you want to quickly see what it's going to look like, see how the timing's going, sharing with your collaborators and what have you, because it's going to give you a very small file size. It's not going to take up a lot of resources, but it's not going to look good either, okay? You'll definitely want to jump up to either 720 or 1080 when you go to publish your video. Now these these first four, 360, 480, 720, and 1080, they're all your traditional horizontal rectangle formats, okay? So they look just like you would expect them to on a computer monitor or what have you. Facebook and Instagram, these are your square formats. So you'll notice it's 1000 pixels wide by 1000 pixels tall. So it's a perfect square. And this format is great for publishing onto Facebook and Instagram, as the name implies, because a lot of people are using those on mobile devices and the square video format looks really good on those. The horizontal format, they get shrunken down. And so it's not as vibrant. It doesn't fill the screen so much. And then finally, you have this custom option where you can go in and define exactly the size that you want your video to be. So in the case of making a vertical video for Instagram or Facebook stories where it's, it fills the entire mobile video screen, you can do that by specifying the exact width and height. So normally your 1080 horizontal stock high definition video is 1920 wide by 1080 tall. Well, your vertical format is going to be the inverse of that. So it's going to be 1080 wide and 1920 tall. And if I were to export that, this would turn into a vertical video. Now, before we export this as a vertical video, you do also need to set up your display. So go into settings and right here, you're going to want to change it to custom and flip flop these around unlock it so that you can change it and click apply and that's going to turn it into a vertical video and then now you're going to need to resize and maybe reposition your items so I'm going to go ahead and select them all and then I'm going to resize them to fill the screen and that looks pretty good and then now you would just go ahead and hit export so now that it's exported, you'll see we have a perfectly vertical video that will fill a phone. So it's ideal for using on Instagram stories or Facebook stories, or even you could insert it into a PowerPoint presentation or what have you, if you just wanna fill up the space differently. So there's all kinds of different reasons why you might wanna change the format of your exports.